Okay, we're going to go over how to enter a fish in a tournament. And specifically, we want to talk about the Muskie National. Uh, right here, as soon as you log on to your account, as soon as you open the Fish Donkey app, you'll see all the tournaments that you've registered for. I have not registered for the Muskie National, but I'm going to show you how you would enter a fish into it anyway by using this practice tournament. And you can also try this practice tournament. It's a free tournament that you can join and practice entering your fish. And that's where I'm going to enter my fish. So I'm going to hit practice entering a fish. It pulls up the three categories we have, which are largest muskie, a stringer of 20 muskie, and then wild card muskie. Uh, what each of these, the way these columns work, these are your leaderboards. Every time you enter a fish, it's going to track them in order from largest to smallest, and that's the largest muskie category. Every fish will be in there from largest to smallest, and you can look at everybody's fish. And stringer of muskie is just, it's going to total up your 20 largest fish. So if you, if you caught 75 fish and you entered them all, it's going to automatically call, it's going to select your 20 largest, and it's going to total them up to make one total numerical value. And then it's going to sort those uh, from highest to lowest by contestant. And finally, wild card muskie. What that is, we have every fish entered into this category. It's in no particular order, just whatever order it was entered. And at the end of the contest, a winner will be selected at random from that category. And so those are your categories, largest, stringer, and wildcard. Now if you wanted to see more information on your tournament, you can click the I button up at the top. It'll pull up, you can see your tournament overview, uh, you can see rules and regulations, and the prize categories. There's a lot of information in there. You can see your sponsors in the actual Muskie National. There will be sponsors listed here, a list of the prizes, and then also photos of the tournament. Okay, but right now, we're just going to pretend we're fishing in the tournament and we're going to enter a fish. And so, let's say I've caught my fish and I hit the enter a fish button. Immediately, the very first time I'm presented with this screen which shows me instructions for how to enter a fish, I've already done it and we're gonna go over it right now. So I'm going to hit don't show again. And I actually, I want to show you what it's like. I'm going to cancel this. So normally, after you've practiced and you've already been familiar with it, you're, let's say you're out fishing, you hit the enter a fish button, it immediately opens the app. You would take some photos of you holding the fish. Take two, three, four nice photos of you holding the fish. And you do that by clicking the button in the upper left. It's a little camera icon. Take several photos of the fish of you holding it. And then also take photos of the muskie on a bump board or a measuring device of some kind. Take those photos. Uh, you also have the ability to take video, and that's the middle button, the middle yellow button. It's a, a recording button. Take that and you can take 30 se second clips of, of your fish. You could also uh, take a video of it on the measuring board or what we want you to do in the Muskie National is turn on the video camera, uh, your photographer starts the recording, and then you release the fish and show that you've successfully uh, released it and it swam away back into the waters and was released. And when you're done with all of these, you can press the green check mark. And it'll bring you back to a summary of, of all your photos. If you would like to select or deselect any of them, uh, it'll automatically select the first five you've taken. Uh, you can add more or take them away. I'm just going to just send in this one, but you should, you know, send them all in. If you wanted to add more photos, if you haven't released the fish yet, you can hit add and you can add more photos. And you'll choose the species off the list, which is musky. You'll enter the length and let's enter a 47 inch musky. And then you hit submit. Got one. It's that, that means that the fish has been accepted. We can already see it on the leaderboard because I'm on a fast connection. Um, after the media, <coughs> that indicates that I am the new leader on the leaderboard. Everybody in the tournament will receive a notification when there's a new leader. So you won't get a notification every time a fish is caught, but you will get a notification when there's a new leader on the leaderboard. And for a summer long contest, that's also kind of fun. And so 
I'll just go over that again just quickly because it is actually an easy process. Just hit enter a fish, hit the camera icon, take several photos of you holding the fish and on the measuring board, and then also take a video of you releasing the fish and then hit the check mark. Review your photos. Choose the species and the stem. Let's just say it was a 42 and hit submit. Got one. It's that easy. All right, so just a little bit more information here. Uh, if you want to refresh your screen, you can slide down. That's just an, uh, a common um, thing you can do on iPhones and Android phones. You can slide down and refresh screens. Um, the other thing you can do is if you click on the little fish button up here, you can see all of the fish that you have entered. And uh, if you're in an area where there's a bad internet connection, you can still use this app. You can submit fish. And if they don't go through, when you do get back into a better area or when you get on Wi-Fi, uh, then the fish will go through. Now, another thing that you can see here is all of these fish say that they're unverified. That just means that they haven't been checked by a tournament host yet. By, uh, by a tournament judge or a director. But if you wanted to look at them, uh, all you need to do is click on it and you can view someone else's photos. Now, if you're on a slow internet connection, you're you out in the lake, you probably don't even want to see the videos in the photos because it can take some time. These are full high definition uh, photos. And as you can see, you can just zoom way in and see all kinds of detail in there. You can verify the length of uh, the other participants fish and get a good look at them um, but it's much faster if you're on a good connection for that you wouldn't really need to do that it's just kind of nice to be able to see the leaderboard and and uh, that's it it's that's that's all there is to entering a fish